now to go for the output characteristics we have to fix the input input current that is base current initially at 20 microamperes fixed and then measure for each voltage vce 0 0.1 0 0.2 etc etc the corresponding output current that is the collector current in milliamperes or milliameter rather. so the input current that is ib is now fixed at 20 by rolling this input uh, potentiometer and the VCE is, VCE is changed from 0 0.1 onwards so one division correspond to 0 0.1 here because 10 divisions will correspond to 1 corresponding IC value is noted in the table of column it is nearly 2 we will once again verify the input current is 20 now and you can see here the IC is nearly 2 we will increase it to 2 that is 0.2 rather no? 0.2 and then note down now you can see that there is a slight dip in the IB we will bring it back to 20 by moving this and then note down the IC value once again is almost 5 we will increase it to 0.3 and note down the reading here we will increase it to 0.4 and note down the IC value we will increase it to 0.5 next 0.6 next 0.7 next 0.8 next 0.9 and then 1 each time ensure that the IB is always 20 each time the IC is noted down and then enter in the table column and after 1 volt we have to jump over to 2 volts, 3 volts, 4 and 5 and note down the IC value we will do that 2 volts now for VCE IC is, IC is noted 3 volts note 4 volts note it down 5 volts note it down each time ensure that the IB is 20 it may fluctuate because there is a feedback or there is an interconnection between the input side and the output side of the transistor there may be a slight variation in the values which has to be ensured as constant now this kind of an experiment is repeated for all the 14 values next by keeping the input current that is the base current at 40 microamperes instead of 20 microamperes and in the entire set of readings for each value of VCE is noted and enter now I am just changing over the IB to 40 microamperes now and the values are noted for each of the values of VCE from 0 0.1 then 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 etc etc each time the IC value is noted ensure that the IB is always at 40 next experiment is repeated for 60 micro amperes of IB entire set of 14 readings for each value of VCE and then finally for an input current IB of 80 micro amperes the experiment is repeated for all the 14 values now for the transfer characteristics we have to choose any of the value that we have taken for VCE maybe 3 volts I am choosing now now for a VCE voltage of 3 volts here we would have taken 4 different values 1, 2, 3, 4 4 different values of IC 4 different values of IC for each of the IB value so this is IB 20 micro amperes for which for VCE of 3 volts the IC is 9 which will be entered here IB is 20 microamperes IB is 20 microamperes for this 20 microamperes corresponding to VCE of 3 volts the IC is 9 so this is just this is for 2 20 this is 9 and the next we have done for 40 isn't it for 40 we would have taken a reading for 40 microamperes we would have taken a 
reading corresponding to VCE of three volts, we would have taken a reading in the IC. This will be, this reading will be noted down over here. And similarly for 60 microamperes and for 80 microamperes, you would have got corresponding to 60 and corresponding to 80 microamperes, you would have taken an IC value corresponding to 3 volts over here, the third reading and this is the fourth reading. So these readings will be noted down in the table column. With these four readings, the transfer characteristics can be plotted.